Let us see how to use Captivate FP10 Fixer. The first step is to launch setup. Choose the location to install and click on X. As you can see, Captivate FP10 Fixer was installed at the correct location. Let us now try to play the Captivate content with text animations, in the latest Flash Player. The content does not play. The next step is to launch Captivate FP10 Fixer. After launching, Click on the Browse for SWF Files button, and choose the Captivate Published File. You can see the message is getting logged as Captivate FP10 Fixer works. The finished processing message has come up. This means our modified content is now ready. Going to our original location. We find the modified SWF file saved there. To use the new file with the HTML file present, just rename your original file to old. Then change the name of your new file. Opening the HTML file now, we find that the Captivate content plays fine. This method can be used when the files are all in one location. When I have files in multiple locations, what should be done? I now use a text file to specify all the SWF files I want to fix. This text file contains the path of my first SWF, followed by an asterisk, and then the new file path. Similarly on the next line, I have the same details for another SWF file. I now go back to my Captivate FP10 Fixer, and select Browse for Text Files. I choose the text file I had created before. Now you can see that messages are logged for both the files I had selected. When the finished processing message comes up, I go to the location I had specified for the new files. Here you can see both the modified files as expected, playing them directly in the browser. I am that both files play as expected. In this way, you can use Captivate FP10 Fixer to resolve text animation not playing issue, without having to republish your content again.